Thank you. Here's what you see of the old munching. The tractor you've seen over the past, uh, I don't know, month or so. Not even that, really, since last summer. Anyway, it's just a frame now. And it's going to remain as that because I am starting a new project. Take the parts from that frame, and get parts from that frame, and build this frame with that transmission. Yeah, this is going to be the new much. The all new. I'm going to redo it all because I'm getting so tired of these stupid torque converters. These things are so stupid. I've gone through about seven or eight belts for the past few months, and the thing just burns them off. Like it's so stupid. And not to mention when you hit water, the belt just slips and burns off even more. Not to mention belts here in Canada for an MTD are about, I don't know, 35 bucks. So I didn't get that kind of money. So I am going to use that transmission. This thing's only going to have one belt instead of two. But I'm still currently tearing it apart. And it's happening because if I can get in here, this clutch setup. We can't see that well. There, okay. Focused in. Just bear with me here. Okay. This clutch setup, when you go with the pedal, there's supposed to be a pulley right here. You can actually see the markings from it. It's supposed to be an idler, your transmission pulley, and your engine pulley. This pivots in and outward. And uh, it's supposed to, you know, engage tension on your belt. I don't really like that. I might actually go with a double pulley setup. What I might do is I might just drill a hole here, put an idler there, and then take these out, and drill another hole over here, right there, maybe notch out the frame some, and put two pulleys there and have a double pulley clutch so that it routes the belt around the shifter and still gives me better tension on the belt from the engine pulley. So. That's the best if the thing just move back and forth and break the belt. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to remove all this unnecessary bullshit for the deck. Like, you know, this thing and you know the thing that went in the set inside of here. I don't really like the steering setup either. I might redo that. Here's the motor that's gonna put in it. Here's the motor that's going in it. Overhead valve, it's like brand new. There's the old motor that was in it. Oh no, wait. This is the motor that was in it. I put in the Husqvarna. Yeah, this tractor runs and drives too. That's the motor that's going in it. This might be kind of a boring video, but I even got two tubes for the back and two tubes for the front tires because tube tires are better than tubeless because you know you can replace the tube instead of having to freaking replace the whole tire. But Alright, this is where I'm sitting at right now and what's going on with the mud king.